Okay, so uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to do our staircase for the tiny house project. And um, so it's this is on page, let's see, if the handout it's going to be on page 31. All right, and then in our model, that's going to be located here. So the first step you want to do in the model is make a modification to your second floor, to the actual second floor. And what you want to do is you want to cut a hole in the second floor in order to place that staircase in there. All right, so you got to actually just create a, a spot in the second floor to do that. So um, I won't go into you know the specifics of it, but basically what you do is you pick the floor, your second floor, and you go to Edit Boundary. And what you're going to do is you can see this magenta line here. We're just going to kind of following the directions, going to cut basically that space in there, the space that's allowed for um, for our stair to come up through that second floor. All right, so make that adjustment on your um, second floor, and then hit Finish. So um, what you do is you pick the floor and then you go edit boundary that takes you back into sketch mode and then you make that edit then once you're finished hit finish it'll give you this warning here would you like the walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to it its bottom just say no to that alright so then you've created that hole in the floor there alright and then you're ready to create the staircase so the staircase command here is on the architecture tab alright and it's under um, Let's see, here it is. Stair. All right, so I'm going to get the little drop-down menu. Here's the drop-down menu. You've got two choices. You've got stair by component and stair by sketch. So for this particular stair that's in our, uh, um, in our uh, tiny house project, we're going to do scare, stair by sketch. All right, in our ranger station project coming up here in a little bit, we're going to use stair by component. And actually, I think you actually use stair by component for that front porch step uh, there. So, um, but uh, for right now, let me go over this stair by sketch. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Stair by Sketch, all right, and it's going to take me into sketch mode. All right, the two things I'm going to use here are boundary and riser, all right? So I'm going to create first the boundary of the stairs, and then I'm going to draw in my risers, okay? And then going back to that handout to kind of coordinate here with the handout, the green lines here, these little green lines that I'm showing here are the boundary lines. These black lines here are the risers for my staircase. All right, so that's basically the, the thing, the two things I'm gonna, the two components here that I'm gonna be drawing in. So let me go back to sketch mode here, or back to uh, Revit. Actually, let me go back, keep on seeing on the handout here. So um, the first thing I want to do, and when I'm, when I'm uh, doing my stairs here, is put in the information in the properties dialog box, which is this information here. This is basically our base level. That's the point at which the stairs are gonna start. The top level is the stairs, is the point where the stairs are gonna end. All right, and then we have offsets, if you need an offset. In this particular case, we don't need one. So we've got zero, zero for our base offset and top offset. The width of our stairs are going to be three feet. Uh, we're looking for 18 uh, risers. And then our stair, the tread height, is going to be um, 11 inches. And our um, riser height is going to be 7 inches. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this information in first into our properties dialog box here. So that is over here. All right. So over to the right hand side, this is our properties dialog box. All right. So our base level, I'm going to switch that to zero, uh, zero 01 entry level. Our top level, basically the top of our stairs is going to go to upper level, O2 upper level. No offsets. All right. Scroll down a little bit. Our width is 3 feet. Desired number of stairs are 18. Our treads are 11 inches. All right, and our actual riser heights is is going to be six and 171, 256 of an inch. Um, that's not so bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is very, 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 very precise. Uh, he's got a really, really small ruler. Um, all right, so then this also, if I go to, sorry, let me do that floor. Go to edit type. This also gives us a little bit more information on our stairs. So um, I've got my maximum. This is basically some parameters that you're kind of setting. So our maximum riser height is seven inches. So our riser height, this is going to keep us from going over seven inches for our riser height and 11 inches for our tread depth. All right, and then the rest of these categories here are kind of materials. So our tread material, riser material, stringer material, if we want to uh, edit those. Um, what other some good ones here too? The other thing too, you can control the nosing on the stair. That's basically the point at which the stair tread meets the stair uh, riser. And you can kind of change that. Um, got a couple different options here. Well, I guess not. Um, you basically have just the, the stair nosing. Okay. And that'll work for what we're doing. And then you can change its thickness, all that kind of stuff. 
Okay, so um, the first thing that we're going to do then is going to draw our boundary. All right, so I'm going to go to up here to boundary, All right, and I'm going to use the line command. And going back to our handout, what I'm looking for then is to draw and kind of draw this pattern here. So I'm going to draw basically the perimeters of the stairs. All right, so I go eight foot ten, and then kind of create this little U shape here. Okay, all right, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this lower uh, left-hand corner, and I'm going to go up 8 foot 10. All right, notice I'm drawing with a green line, so that's good. That's my boundary. I'm going to go across, and I'm basically looking for the intersection of that wall, the, two, the exterior wall and that interior wall. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to basically stop, let's see, at 8 foot 10, I believe. Yep, there you go. All right, so we're just basically following along with that sketch. All right, and then I'm going to go from, oops, line command. Then I'm going to go from this corner here of, the, of this these two interior walls, and I want it to align with that eight foot ten dimension, which is a little bit easier said than done. Let me just draw kind of a temporary line between those two, so I've got something to to, to uh, stop me. All right, so let me go to here. Oops, boundary. Sorry. Okay, so draw a boundary line to there boundary line to there and then one connecting those two okay so now I can delete this one here I'm just gonna delete that out of there alright that was just a temporary line so it looks just like our sketch I've got these kinda two U shapes that are defining the perimeter of my staircase here All right, then the next thing I want to do is draw in my risers okay so I go click on and shift over to the riser uh, command alright so the first two risers are gonna go across here at the top and across here at the uh, at the bottom of the stair. All right, so following along with the sketch, here are my risers. And like I said in the instructions, or like it says on the um, handout here, that we want our risers to uh, our treads to be 11 inches apart. Okay, so what we're saying basically is from this riser to this riser is going to be 11 inches. All right, so I'm going to put that on my drawing. So what I'm going to do is use my pick lines command. So pick lines. All right, I'm going to set my offset to 11 inches. All right, and then I'm just going to start creating those risers. All right, so there, there, there. Create my next riser, there, and see how I'm I'm holding my cursor over the previous riser, and I'm looking for that blue dashed line, which is showing up on the riser I picked before that one. Let's see. Okay, so let me do it on this bottom one. So you can see that blue dashed line there. Blue dash line there, blue dash line there. All right, so there are uh, a couple of my risers. All right, now you may run into a situation like this. I can't get, for some reason, I can't get that blue dash line to show up in front of that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the line command, still have my offset set to 11 inches, and I can just draw it in. And see how it's trying to draw it on top of the riser I had already drawn? I can just hit the space bar and it'll flip it over. All right, so then I'm just going to draw the rest of these with the line command. All right. Okay, so I've got those risers created. Now I've got these diagonals here in the corner. So let me go to back to the handout. So I've got these diagonals. It basically goes from that corner there to that corner there. So let me do that one real quick. I'm going to do this one and this one next. Okay, so there's a little bit of a trick to this one. So I go to the riser command. Go to the line command. Make sure my offset is now zero. All right, I pick that corner there, and for some reason, well, not for some reason, Revit basically wants to stick to a 45 degree angle, like some sort of nice, comfortable angle. And I'm missing that corner there. So to get past that, basically, I hit the tab button, and that basically releases that. Um, I hit the tab button. Maybe I have to hit it a couple times here. Yeah. So you hit the tab button a couple times until it snaps to that corner. All right. So the tab button will prevent it from keep, keeping that uh, 45 degree angle. So let me do that at the bottom to show you again. So I pick that corner there, move my cursor kind of to that corner, and I may have to hit the tab button in order to select that intersection there at my uh, of my two boundary lines. All right, so I've got those guys there. Then the last one I've got to do is I've got to create this tread here. All right, so I'm going to show you how I do that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the line command. 
All right, and I'm going to draw basically half a tread. So half a tread is five and a half inches. All right, I'm going to start at the center line because it'll snap to the center line. So there's the bottom part, and then I come back through. There's the top one. All right, so basically what I did is I used the center line of this boundary line here, and I drew half a tread this way, half a tread that way, which is five and a half inches, five and a half inches on top. So that gives me 11 inches between the two. All right, so those are all my treads uh, and all my risers and all my boundary lines that are drawn in. Okay, let's go back to our handout. All right. And that's basically it. So let me go back up here just to make sure all these numbers are correct before I hit finish. Okay, so base level, O2, entry level, upper level, that works. 11 inches, 18 risers, 3 feet wide. Okay, so now everything's drawn correctly, so I just hit the finish command. And then what basically the Revit does is just takes takes over and draws the rest of the stairs. So it puts in all the 3D information. So let's take a look at my building. I'm, I'm going to my 3D view, my default 3D view. My stairs are back behind this wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that wall and just hit HH, which is the temporary hide. All right, so now I can see those stairs in there. So that looks good. All right, so it should look something like this. I've got a guardrail that's drawn automatically. Let me hide that for a second so you can see those stairs a little bit better. Alright, so it should look something like this. Alright. And um, now it may, for some of you, uh, it may look something like this. Let me go back to that 3D view. Alright, it may look something like this, where it's backwards and you've got the staircase kind of crashing through that door, and then you've got um, you know, it should, may look like this. Now this is backwards. If you see it like this and it's going through this door back down here, that means you've got the stair going backwards. That's fine. That's not a problem. That doesn't mean you have to redo it. Let me go to my floor plan view. To flip your stairs, if they're drawn backwards like that, to flip them, what you do is so you select the staircase and then you see this little arrow here? You pick that little arrow and that'll flip it. Now the problem with that arrow is you pick it there, you say, oh, okay, let me grab my stairs. All right. Well, there's my little arrow. Let me. It's really small. Let me zoom in. And it doesn't matter how far you zoom in; the thing just keeps running away from you. So, um, so yeah, you just basically have to just pick it. But this little single arrow there uh, will flip your stairs. So let me go back to my 3D view. All right. So that's what it should look like. Let me put my railings back in. Okay, so that is basically what your uh, stairs, uh, using the stair and sketch mode, uh, or stair by sketch, should look like. All right.